life You live in your heart, boy, I got not pretend I'm not fair, I'm coming here to sin If you can in your garden, you know that you can Call me when you want, call me when you need Call me in the morning, I'll be on the way Alright yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Mystic. Today I'm back with a brand new video and it's finally here. The complete guide to Modern Warfare Solo Auto Map. A lot of people have been asking me for this video for a very long time, so I decided to finally make it. Especially for this Infinity pre uh, Private RC I'm going to get right now. But uh, yeah, so we're on some Modern Warfare. Finally decided to make this video. So I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about both the solo methods on this game. All the good spots, all the good maps, all the tips and tricks. So we're going to start off with the god mode method. It's the most common method people see me hit shots on. It's actually the most common method people hit shots on, period, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, it is the easiest glitch you'll ever do in your life. I'm not even kidding. It's super, super easy. So I'm going to run down those settings, and then I'll show you guys a bunch of spots and a bunch of maps that I've set aside. So for this game mode, you're going to need Team Deathmatch, the basic game mode, right? So I'll zoom in some of the settings, but this is basically what I have my um, settings on for like the pre-game stuff. The match start time is only if you're playing with other people because sometimes it takes a while other people to load into your game and they need to be in the like um, before the they need to be in the game before the pregame starts before the pregame ends sorry so they need to be in there they need to be I add three seconds usually it helps out a lot points per kill doesn't really matter it's up to you um, but I do recommend five points per kill and five um, five points to end the game because uh, if you do kill a bot. Um, in the game and you're not like at last if they get revived you can't kill them again so they're in they're in god mode as well I'll explain that a little bit later this is the one of the most important parts of the game you'll see my settings here the number of lives on one life you don't have to actually change that you can go down to allow revives and turn to the team revive and it'll set the numbers of life to one so you don't worry about that the max health i would turn it down to one just because um, you don't want to hit marker, you don't want to screw up or anything. It'll kill last if you do shoot a bot or something. Uh, but if you also you stun a bot or something like that, it will kill them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty important. You do want to have that on the lowest possible you can have or whatever you want, like having it on. Maybe 10 is good if you, want, if you want to stun a bot every so often, but you only can do it once. Explain that too. But yeah, that's up to you. Um, the downed health and the downed revive health need to be on 100. They're, this is the normal health when you respawn. That needs to be on 100, that's what I usually have mine on, and that's what that is what you need to have it on. The bleed up timer needs to be un unlimited. Some people do three minutes, I do unlimited, so I find it's a little bit a uh, little bit easier for the glitch, I'm not sure. It works either way, I don't think it's like, easier or anything, but it does need to be unlimited th or three minutes. This part, you need to have free spectating on. This is a really important part of the glitch, you need to have this on for the glitch to actually work. So you have that, and then of course you want final kill cam, which doesn't really matter because you're only pretty sure you're going to get one kill, but you should probably put this on because there's a chance you won't get kill cam if it's on play the game. Radar on a constant, that's optional, but I like to do that. Now this is the part for solo. Friendly fire. Friendly fire, just, just turning on friendly fire, don't teach any of the settings for that, will kill you when the game starts. Friendly fire, usually when you shoot somebody at the beginning of a round or a game, you die to friendly fire, it's reverse friendly fire. So you'll, you'll die instead of them. So when the game starts, you shoot them and you die. And the cool part about this is after the glitch happens, you're in God when you can't die again. So to, to prevent the bot from killing the other bots, you just kill the bot and it doesn't matter. That bot's dead, you can't revive them either. So this part, you doesn't really need, you don't really need this, but th this you will. Spawn ammo mags. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want FMJ, I need to have fully loaded on. You don't need fully loaded the perk on your weapons. Just put on spawn ammo mags to maximum, and you'll have the same amount of ammo as, um, whatchamacallit, uh, as fully loaded. So you can still use FMJ. Um, the field upgrade charge rate and score modifier, doesn't. you don't really need them, but the, you, you can have them because you can get your field upgrade. You can, uh, if you wait a little bit before you kill yourself with the bot, your field upgrade will charge a little bit, and then um, you can kill the bot, and then you can assassinate a bot and get your field upgrade. So you guys a little trick actually to get your field upgrade a little bit easier, but you can assassinate a bot and get your field upgrade. Um, I'll explain how that works too. And the charge rate, of course, is a little bit higher, so you can get your field upgrade. Blah blah. blah. 
but yeah, so those are the basic settings for this game mode. You don't really need anything else. Um, if you guys have any questions about this game mode, go ahead and drop them in the comments or DM me on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, I'll answer. But yeah, so I'm gonna hop into um, some maps to show you guys some tricks and stuff like that. I'll show you guys how to pile up too. Um, that's for you to guys to test that out. I don't really know any spots to pile up really well, but um, you can just, you, I'll show you, show you guys how to do that. So for your classes, this isn't, so that's not a, uh, Adam, that's not a god mode class because the right only has five rounds. You want to have nine round or ten round mags on your weapons. So you see I have my ten round mags on my SPR here. You, it's pretty much necessary because you only get out one time in a game. And then to re to get out again, get ammo, you have to restart the game. Because your field upgrades, like the ammo box, won't work. You put them down, you can't use them. Same thing with your lethals. So this is one thing people do a lot, is they throw their lethals by accident. And you can't pick them back up. If you throw a throw knife, you can't grab it. If you throw a C4, you can't pick it up. Same thing with Claymore uh, and, th and Proxy Mine. You can't get them back, unfortunately, just because... I'll explain why, but it just it doesn't work. So one thing I do recommend is if you go to your settings and go to your controller settings, um, if you go down to weapons, there's a... A setting for equipment behavior which is toggle and basically what toggle does is instead of holding down your lethal button or your tactical button to hold it out and letting go to throw it when you click the button it pulls it out when you click it again it throws it so it's a lot easier to cancel them it the pull out time is a little bit slower but um it's not bad uh, it, it's a lot easier to do so we're gonna hop into hobby sawmill i'll show you guys some spots on this map this is probably the best map for the game for the game mode. Um, it's got the most spots. It's not too hard to hit. I haven't hit on this map yet, just because like I, I don't know, I've grinded a lot, but I have not hit. It is a pretty big map, and you can't wall bang everything. You can wall bang a lot, but you can't wall bang everything. So this is how you do the glitch. You see, I have one bot on my team, and I have ten on the other team. So you can only have eleven bots in the game. So you put one on yours, ten on the other. It's not a big deal. Ten still a good amount of bots to hit on. But um, I'll show you guys exactly how to do this glitch. Right as the game starts, you have the 14 second timer at the top. Basically, where does the game start? You want to just shoot the bot. Um, I'm not going to do the field upgrade thing right yet. I'll show you guys a little bit later. But um, yeah, so here we'll wait until the game starts. And right as the game starts. So once the enemy inbound, block it should come back. If you're on, if the bot's on recruit, the bot will come back. Made it. Just hold still. You know the you're good to go. Get you're back in there. Screen if you're in core, and. If you see the blood on my screen, that means you, the glitch worked. So now I'm outside the map, and there's no warning zones, which is super, super cool. So that's how you know it works. In a hardcore, there's no way of knowing unless like the bots don't see you and don't shoot at you. The bots, you're literally invisible to the bots. They, they won't attack you at all, and they won't be attracted to your gunfire or anything. The only thing they'll actually be attracted to is your lethal. If you put them in a spot, you want to like put them somewhere. So the main spots of this map are this mountain right here. This one's a little bit annoying because you have to walk all the way around every single attempt. I want to show you guys anyways how to get up. I usually go from like right over here. One thing with a lot of these maps is you be very, very, very careful because some of these parts like here, you'll see that it doesn't look physical. And if I throw something right through it, it goes right through. So you gotta be very careful with parts like this in the map. You will fall through and this map is an infinite fall. So you will literally fall forever. But yeah, so you just come up here on this little this little ledge here, and you just jump up here, run all the way up. You can go from the lower part if you wanted to, but I like going from the higher part. It's a little bit easier to get a good advantage on the map. But uh, yeah, so we're up here now. I like going from right on this corner. Um, you'll see that there's bots like down there in the map and stuff. You'll see there's the spawn back here. You can wall bang this. I don't know if you can wall bang any of this. You can see all the way in the back spawn there too. It's a little bit hard to hit too, but you can see it. But yes, yeah, so we're over here now. Let's go for a shot. But yeah, so there's that spot. It's a very, very cool spot. I like going for that. It's the spot that I want to hit this map. And then we go over to the next mountain right here. This one's a little bit lower, but a little bit easier to get up. You don't run all the way around every single attempt. Like the, the this one, you literally have to run all the way there every single time. It's kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's pretty cool. So you can get up right over here. Get over right here, onto this hill, which is kind of a cool spot. A little bit lower and a little bit harder to hit, just because there's a little area down here you can hit too, and um, you can put bots there with like a pile up method. But you can kind of hit to like mid map as well. It's a little awkward, but it's kind of cool. And then you can hit to like over there and stuff. But uh, I usually go from right here in this corner. There you go. I didn't shoot actually. I 
have to silent shock. Yeah, this is a cool little spot. The instead of going all the way around, you can jump up from right here, I think. Oh, never mind. I don't think you can jump from there. I go from right here in this little like break grape like brown patch. You can just sprint up and you're up on here and you walk all the way around and go for it again. It's kinda easy to get up. Um it's nice. This spot's uh, I call it waterfall just because I feel like it kind of looks like one. There's like a river below it, but I, I, I call this spot uh, waterfall. I kind of like this spot. It's very very cool. You see this boat through the water right there. I mean, just go right over here, and then you're up top on this rock. This rock's not physical, but you can go over from right here. Kind of cool. It's, it's like a quick repeating spot, so you go through these times really quickly. One thing though, it's kind of cool, is you go right up here on this little cliff, and you can jump off, and slide off, slide here. So you can jump, slide off, slide off. I think it looks really, 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 really cool. That's a shot that I've always wanted to hit, is you double slide this. I basically like slide off here, jump, and slide again. So like, oops, I have my play tactical in this game, I'm like default. Just with spins in the middle of the slides. I'm having a little awkward to go for that right now, but yeah. But this is a cool spot. There's a little spot up here, and then this spot. So, uh... So we're gonna move on to the next map. It is Broadcast. So Broadcast is a really, really, really cool map, because there are actually a bunch of spots on this map, and there's a possible under the map. It's a suey you can go for at the end of the game, but uh, it is really, 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 really cool. First I mention, this game mode basically has built-in barrel step protection. So you can't actually kill somebody from a light, I think, I believe it's 30 meters, something like that. The way you can tell how um, a spot is possible, or like wherever you want to hit someone is possible, is their name above their head will start to dim a little bit, I guess. You want to come over here, through the map. There's only one way out of this map, um, but don't worry, it's not too hard to get out. You just go over here to the edge of the map. Enemy at the yellow building. Burning car. Sorry, I have a mistake on. Uh, so when you gotta be careful, some of these roads you will fall through. But you can go around over here. And you can get up on this hill. It's a little bit awkward. You will fall through the map in some parts, so do be careful. This road here you will fall through. Um, just go up here in this little hill. It's kind of an awkward spot. It's been hit a couple times. It's a pretty cool spot though. You just go over here. Up on these rocks. Careful with this path, you will fall through that one, do not go on it. So you can't really get up on the top here. But you go or, over here, and you go from like this rock. I'll show you guys another spot on this map. Probably the, probably the funniest map to show somebody uh, when you're playing with them. The reaction is always the funniest shit. I absolutely love showing people this, this spot and just hearing their reaction. Like, what the fuck? Or what? No way. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go up there. <laughs> we're gonna come to this little tower up here. Um, I know it seems like bullshit, and uh, I'm just lying to you guys for views. No, no, I'm not lying to you guys for views. This is legitimately a spot on this map. So basically, this map is just pulled from the Warzone map. You'll see, like, look, working fucking lap. You'll see it's literally the Warzone map, slow texture, so it's not as much data. But broadcast is in this map. This usually is a door down here to get out here um that you usually can get inside that's usually not that textured it actually is physical you can you can jump inside of it and stuff but uh, there's a ladder you can get inside of this building which doesn't actually work unfortunately but you can go from right here basically you just want to jump on this little railing crouch and get and stand up or you can go all the way up top which most people when they do for this map they can't they like going all the way up top i don't i find it's like a waste of time because it takes super, super long to get up. You can go from these railings, but the spot I like the most is you go right here and then just jump to the satellite dish. And you stand on the satellite dish. This is a really cool spot on the line. But this building is completely wall bangable too. So you can wall bang into the bottom level. You can wall I'm pretty sure you can wall bang this top piece. You can wall bang into the second floor of the building. You can wall bang everything. So the next map we're gonna move on to is Tank Factory. So I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys how to do that um, fuel upgrade glitch again. For the solo stuff, but we're gonna move on to get Mills, Mills, Mill. I don't want to say Mill, Millister Tank Factory. Little trick for this: there's two versions of the map. There's the 10v10 map and the 6v6. You can only get out on the 10v10 map. The 6v6 map blocks out the outside of the map part. So you can walk out. You cannot get to it. 
But uh, this spot is probably the coolest spot, in my opinion. I think it's the most... I wouldn't say the most unique broadcast, probably the most unique, to be honest. That map is fucking awesome. Um, it's coalition. But this map is so fucking cool. Because it's a really, really interesting spot. I had two shots on this map, we'll roll them a little, in a little bit. But, um... Well, actually, I'll roll the first one that I hit now. Um, I hit it on Xbox, back when I played on Xbox. It was my last MW shot on console. Actually, it my last shot on console, period. Well, I had one yesterday, but um, it was a really, really cool shot with the dragon off. I'm not too sure where the bot was. There were two bots in my line of sight, but there was also um, a bot behind a building that I shot at. And, oh, look at that. Look at that, jeez. But I'll show that right now. Here you go. Stay focused. Mission accomplished. Top marks. Basically, you want to do you want to have the dual kadachis or whatever melee weapon, knife, whatever, and you want to wait a little bit for your fuel upgrade. Team deathmatch. Give it to like one quarter. So enemy off. inbound. Lock it low. Okay, Eggert should come back and revive me. Come back, buddy. Come on. Come revive. Set food, man. We got us a fight. You're good to go. Get back in there. Yeah, so there we go. He's dead. So you see my field upgrade is a little bit charged up. I couldn't get it all the way up just because I didn't have time. Enemy at the warehouse. But if you go over to a bot like this dude right here, and you hold down your melee button, you can assassinate them. You can take them control. control. You can assassinate them. Right? And now I can change my clock. Oh, I can't Enemy at the Detroit building. I should have changed my class before I did the assassination. But you can't change your class with these if you kill if you get the last of the swords. Just because I assassinated the bot, I guess like a prevent so I can't change my class anymore. You can literally change your class anymore. But now I have my attack insert. You can't use it, it won't work because you can't die. But you'll see that bot, you'll see him actually near the bridge on the radar. He's glitched out and will not be able to be killed and he'll walk in a straight line forever. I once found a bot like 700 meters from the map ones. <laughs> it was kind of funny. But this is the spot here. It's the only spot on this map, actually. There's no other spots on this map you can get on. Really, really, really sucks. But this map, this spot is so cool. Go all the way up here onto this railing. This is the top. You can't get up here at all. Can't get on this pipe at all. But you go right up here. Over the, I don't have a, a good combo with this uh, class, so I'm not going to really go for anything else. And a bot just died from fall damage. So now I have eight bots to hit on. Amazing. All right, yeah, go right up here. You shoot all the way over this. You can hit anywhere pretty much on the map. All this wall bang level. I think the only thing of that is wall bang all this. You can wall bang that building, everything. It's super, super cool. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of the only spot on the map. You can't really go anywhere else. There is an under the map on this map. It is possible as well. See, there you go. If you move a little bit closer to the map, yeah, that'll... You can see in the map, and then you can just. This is our fight. Stay focused. There you go. No, we're above the like. There's like a little thing hanging like up in the mm. sky that you can stand on. Oh hey! Oh my God! Look at my screen share. Look at my screen share. Oh my God! I hit it. Look at my screen share right now. I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. Oh my fucking God! Oh my god! Oh, shit. Holy shit! <laughs> that was clean, boy. Let's fucking go! Oh my no god! No way! I just watched that. I just came back. What? Wait. So the next map we're gonna move on to is probably the most well-known map on the game for this method, which is Soldo Harbor. I've hit five times this map. <laughs> I've literally hit five shots in this map. Um, actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, five shots. So I've hit five shots on this map. Um, pretty cool spots on this map. Very, 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 very good for this method. But I'll show you guys all the spots. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. I'll show you guys um, the first two shots hitting this map ever. I don't know if I have the first clip of the shot that I hit. It's the first ever shot on this map when the second day the map was actually out. And then I hit the second ever on the map the, sec like the same day, pretty much. I hit it like the, well not pretty much, the same day, I hit the, the same evening, like I just did a stream with my buddy Uggy and I hit 
again, uh, which is pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, so you can see there's a massive wall outside this map, and all of that's physical. All of it. We're taking the lead! Keep fighting! Got this! The day's ours. Report for debrief. Score the victory, mate. Let's have another. It's super, super easy to get out to. All you gotta do is just run out right here, or the same thing on the other side of the map. You can't jump. Grab. You can't jump out on these crates, but you can just hop on top of them, and then you can hop. You can't hop on here anymore. I forgot. Basically, easy way to go is just jump over right here. Get over here. And now we're out of the map. So there's nothing really over here. Don't worry, I've tested all of it. You'll fall through the map eventually. But these staircases right here are completely physical. You run off all of them, go on the, on the railings if you wanted to. A lot of them have little things like this. This is how you get up. You just walk on this and then jump up and you're on. You go from right here. But yeah, so this is a really, really, really interesting spot. Love this. You can go from up here too. Um, and you get on these, it's kind of cool as well. All of these are just really good about these. Super, super interesting spot. You can wall bank this building, not sure about this one, and you can wall bank at the top and the bottom of this because there's an upstairs and there's a basement uh, downstairs. You can also jump over on here on these. So all of these are physical too. Let's go to the corner of this or go off here. And you can go, that's the edge of the map. So right there, there's a little line to fall off the map. You can jump on the top of this. I'll show you guys how to get on that. If you don't go in here, you can't come back out. Basically, there's also a spot right here. It's not a great spot, but you go basically on this. You'll see the line. If you go over here, you fall. So just jump on here, and you get up top. And this is a really cool spot that I, I want to hit one day. I hit a little pilot shot over the shoulder or the bot leg right down there. Pretty cool shot. Hope you guys enjoy. Everybody, no. I'm not ready because you're not hitting it that attempt. I hit it. <laughs> you literally said I'd go over there. Yeah, yeah. I've, oh, that was yeah, clean. Psychology. I'm going to triple flat too. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, well, you over the shoulder oh didn't show. Oh my god. Fuck. I got a gold SMG. Bet. I'll take that shit. The fucking over the shoulder didn't show. Oh, you got your one, right? This right here is the main spot. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I called this spot Mystic Steps because I did it like three times, twice in one day. So this is basically my spot. I don't want to sound like I have an ego or anything. Yeah, look at this shot I'm going for, Jamie. Fuck. Oh, I hit it! I hit it! You hit it? I hit Wait, it! You actually? Yes, I hit it! I hit it! I just, I just did. I hit it! I hit it! Let's see, let's see, let's see it. Dude, it was so clean. Oh, what the fuck? That was sick. My kill came Oh my him. god. I don't know where he was. That was sick. I, I just oh, hit it. No. I hit it on set up. And uh, this is a cool spot. Really, really hard to hit on set up because it's just like the back spawn. But if you want to pilot, there's a cargo right container there. And the boss can't shoot in the pile of defense. You go off that stair right there, and you go off those two. Pretty cool. We're winning this. Keep it tight. Mission accomplished. Top bomb. Sit in this corner, you jump up, jump again, hop on top of this tarp, and then onto the roof. And now you're on top of this little roof. So you can pile the bots right against that tree, like you put like a proxy mine at the bottom of that tree, 
It's in, the, it's in the little area over here. You can put them in the middle, I think, and the back spawn. This spot's pretty cool. Kind of hard to hit onto that. But it's a super fucking nice spot. I love this spot so much. Very, very fun. Very fun to go for. I highly recommend it. Do try it out. The Sui is this little door right in front of me. Super, super fucking fun spot to go for. I've never hit it. I'll never hit it, probably. But yeah, so this is possible. I'll just kill a bot to show you guys. And there you go. But now we're gonna move into the Gabo glitch. This glitch is a little bit harder, a lot harder to do, actually, to be honest. And it's it's a pretty cool glitchy. It's basically like a UFO type thing, and you get attack inserts, and you can place them down pretty much wherever you want. Um, but not really wherever you want. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. You can only go in certain spots um, that don't have a warning zone in in the area. So I'll show you guys a bunch of cool spots, a bunch of cool maps. Um, I'll also show you guys how to do the glitch and slow it down. Um, for you guys to see exactly how to, how, to, um, how you do it, with the t what kind of what the timing is, because I'm not great at, at it myself, but I kind of know the timing. Basically, the settings for this game mode are whatever score limit you want. Um, free spectating is is what you need. You need to have it on free spectate, of course, final kill cam, and creator on constant. This will help to kind of keep the bots in a general area uh, near you uh, to be able to hit on them. Max health, I put on one, doesn't really matter. You can put on 10 if you want to like try and stun bots every so often, but uh, that's up to you. And then uh, your field upgrade should be, um, field upgrade charge rate should be on 10 modifier, doesn't really matter, but charge rate does matter because you want to get your attack as quick as possible. So having it on 10 helps out, and the perk tune up helps out as well. So if you have tune up one of your classes, you pick that class and you spawn in, wait till your uh, attack re recharges. Uh, and then you switch classes and use your attack and you get whatever class you want and your, and your attack charges a lot quicker. So we're gonna hop into a game right now. I'll show you guys pretty much how to do the glitch. You can just put 11 bots in the other team on recruit. It's a little bit easier on recruit. And I'm gonna show you guys the first map. So we're gonna go by order. I'm not gonna show you guys every single map. I'm gonna show you guys most of the maps in this, on this game. They have like the best spots. Grass Arena has a really cool Narnia. Uh, it's pretty far out. I'll show you guys maybe that in a little bit. Um, but it's a very, very good map for this. So is Euphrates is a cool under the map on that one as well. Pretty cool. Um, it's kind of hard to hit, but it's a really cool spot. Uh, Hackneer is probably the most well-known map on this game. It's it has the most spots, I think, and I have my best ever on this map. I'll show you guys a little bit too. Uh, Condor Hideout has got a couple of cool spots. Pretty hard to hit, but it's a very very cool map. Um, what else has good spots? Oh, Petrograd probably is the most spots in the game actually. So I'll show you the guys this map. Hackney Yard and a couple other ones. So the harbor, uh, this is where I should get a little line earlier, um, where you have to jump over that little brick wall. Um, you, there's, you can backdrop that, there's no warning zone there. And uh, Bacon's got some cool spots. We're gonna go back to the top and we're gonna show, start off by showing you guys spots on Grass and Raid. All right, so basically how you wanna do this glitch, you're gonna uh, change it. Change that match. Basically how you do this glitch is you wanna go to wherever you'd like, just right against the ground or right above it, wherever you want. And you go to your go to your change team. You're gonna pause change team. You're gonna go to coalition when you're in the spectate mode. So you're gonna coalition spectate and then auto assign. So you're gonna do it quickly and there's a specific timing when you go to spectate. So you do coalition, pick your class, go change teams, spectate, auto assign. As that camera starts to reach the map, I didn't get it there. He has a little bit of different. You know, time every time. Some maps are different than others. You just gotta find that timing. Some maps you do a little bit earlier. I think this one you do a little bit earlier. So you just go like now. There we go, I got it. Oh, I fucked it. I, I got it, but I couldn't pull my class. You see, I'm now out of the map. I'm up here. Going to over here. But, uh, yeah, so I'm out on top of the map. That's pretty much how you do this glitch. The boss is shooting at me. I'm just gonna jump off the map so I can do it again. But, uh, yeah, so you can go to the map over here. Enemy near Main Street. And one cool little thing is if you go to spectate after you die, um, like that, we let you tag down. You can actually just go back to wherever you died and you don't have to like, fly all the way out every single time. There we go, now we get the glitch. There's also a Narnia all the way over here. It's been hit twice, I believe. Um, but it's a really, really, really cool spot. It's an under the map, technically, because the barrier is kind of low. I'll try and get out and show you guys. It's a really, really cool spot. Very, very distant. Um, so to lie and waves for hitting this spot. Uh, they're honestly goats. 
live shot in this map is so clean. I love that shot so much. Yeah, so you go over these crates. You can see to the camera they're physical, which is not usually very common with some of these low textured crates. Just do the glitch. I got a first try. Yeah, so this map, I guess, sometimes on different maps, a little different. This one seems to look to be a little bit earlier. Some maps to be later. So now we're all the way out of the map here. Four shots. Look at that. Look at the head. Wouldn't that be ridiculous? I'm gonna skip Euphrates because it's only there's only one spot, and I want to show you guys maps that have more spots on them. Um, but we're gonna move on to Hackney Yard now. Hackney Yard's a really, really, really cool map. Has the most spots on the game, I believe, for this method. If I remember correctly, uh, no, sorry, Petrograd is not. Uh, Hackney's a really, really, really cool map. I actually had my best ever on this map, so I'll show you guys where I was and how far I was. But I'll also show you guys as many spots as I can on this map. So let's get right into it. The most common spot of people have this map is the Union uh, smokestack here. So you can tell the smokestack, like everyone knows. There's also a spot all the way back here on this boat. So you can fly out to this boat and go on these crates right there. Right in front of me. You can actually jump on these crates, and this is a spot you can actually to the back of the map. You can kind of see the angle of it right here. So this is a kind of a cool spot. All that's wall bangable, that building, the little lower parts, you can hit to the big building over there. All of this is possible. Really, really, really cool spot. We're gonna I'm gonna bring you guys over to the spot that I actually hit. I'll show you guys the shot now and show you guys how far it was. I'll show you guys how far it was first, actually. So here's a little picture for you. I'm right there. And I hit the bot through this building, this building, this building, and this wall, all the way to the back spawn over here. So that's a pretty distant shot, if I'm not going to lie. Pretty crazy. So we're going to go to the spot right here. But well, here's the shot I'll roll right now. Enjoy. One thing I find absolutely crazy with this spot is when I first hit it, it was actually on six bots before they added full 11 bot uh, games. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. So we're gonna move on to the next map, which I believe is Condor Hideout. The map is kind of hard to hit on. There's two really, really cool spots I'll show you guys though. Uh, the two little buildings outside of the map that are really, really nice. Actually, Lie hit both of them, I believe, if I remember correctly. One of them recently was absolutely gorgeous, beautiful shot. But uh, yeah, shout out Lie. I'll link his Instagram and Twitter and his YouTube in the description. Uh, go check him out. Go look at all his shots. He's an absolute legend, a really, really, really good friend. I love Lie. He's the absolute homie. So now that we're on Candor. Unfortunately, all of these buildings, all of them are not physical, so you can't go to any of those buildings there. But you can go to this one right out here and that one all the way out there as well. I should fly to this one. So basically, these buildings out here are physical too. Um, it makes no sense to me. I'm not sure why just these two. There's actually one all the way over there in that direction as well. That is physical, but just these t these types of buildings without the hole in the middle are actually physical. So we're gonna go over here. Um, I'll show you guys where you can hit to and how to hit it. There we go, we got it. Awesome. I find the timing in this map is a little harder than a lot of other maps. But there's the map over there. That's the back spawn where we came in. Uh, the bots are actually back over here, I believe. Yeah, cool. Go to the so, yeah, so you can just walk right through this. You're at the edge of the map. Once you can get a bot to come over here so you can kill them. We're there the we leg. go. 168 meters. There we go, there's the distance. So the next map we're going to move on to is Petrograd, I believe. Yeah, so St. Petrograd. I hit one shot on this map. Um, my, I think it's my first shot on PC, uh, MW. And this map is really, really, really cool. There are so many different spots on this map. I'm going to show you guys as many as I can. Uh, just know that pretty much any building on uh, that has a barrier above the build, like on the building, that's not a warning zone is possible. Every single building outside this map has a has a little barrier above it or around it. You can go up pretty much every building. So I'll show you guys a lot of them. I'll show you guys the main spots that have been hit. 
But a uh, really, really, really fun map. We'll actually go for some shots as well, because why the hell not? But um, there are so many spots on this map. It's such a close map. No. Hold ahead. All right, so what I just did right there is I got a kill for last on that police car. And basically, that police car right there, um, if I get a kill there and spectate there, what happens is the when I spawn in, if I get the glitch first try, the bots will actually go around that police car and it's easier to hit on them. Uh, they won't like kind of, they'll kind of pile up sometimes, but pretty much the always stays there. That's what I'm gonna go for. Show you guys some spots from there. Pretty much all of these buildings over here, uh, just with the warning zone behind that church down there is possible. There's a spot right here that I found a while back that's also possible that somebody hit. You can go on these buildings down there. Um, show you guys some spots over here. A little bit harder to hit, a little bit harder to time, in my opinion. You go down here, pretty sure the top of this building, that building, and that building are all possible. I'm pretty sure this one's like right down the middle, yeah. And then I actually witnessed a uh, first ever on this map a long time ago, like back on this glitch had just come out. I was doing it with my friend uh, Cairo, uh, Kyron at the time. His name was Kyron. He switched to Cairo, but um, we hit from he hit from this building, unset up on the bots. It was such a, it was back when six bots were a thing. He hit from right here and he jumped down and hit to the map. Really really cool spot. But I'm gonna try and get on this one. Show you guys this one. This is probably the most overhit spot on the game, not gonna lie, but it's probably the cleanest spot in my opinion. Just because it, it it looks so distant. It's like about 120 meters, I believe. It just it's such a clean shot. It's so nice to go for shots. You can get on the top of this building and on the top of here. I like going from right down here below though. I can get it. It's a lot of muscle memory. You'll eventually get it. Don't worry, don't worry too much about it. I just put my tag right against this barrier. Just the bots, if they do have a sniper, they can kill you, which does kind of suck. But you can see the bots are all down there in the map. And they're all in the middle, actually, but I can still hit that. Tactical search so The barriers come right at the end of this. I kind of like lining up my my reticle looking straight down with like this line right here. It, it just becomes like a habit. It just becomes like muscle memory, basically. Super fun spot to go for, to definitely point. crazy. I'll show you guys a shot I actually hit. I was gonna call some friends, we were just hanging around. So shout out to Zeppo's and Attention for something that I didn't hit when I was literally looking at my screen after I did hit. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the shot right now. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna fix it real quick. Zeppo, you. What? I hit, let's go! I just hit! Oh my god! No, no, I actually hit! I actually hit. No, I did. I did. I did. I did. Oh. I actually just I hit that. No, I actually just hit that. Let's go. I hit the fucking combo I wanted to hit too. Stop lying. Oh, I didn't do it in the end. I didn't do it in the last spin, but that was so sick. I hit the SBR too. You didn't. Hit I did. It. I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. I just oh hit God, this. I just hit this. Yeah, that, that's it, Patrick. Got a really, really cool map. Highly recommend checking it out. Maybe for your first map. Not too hard to get out. Really, there's just so many spots on the map. You can probably find first ever people that never even thought about. But I showed you guys uh, Solo Harbor. I'm going to show you guys Vacant now. Vacant's got a couple of cool spots. One of them is, like, barely possible to hit. And I don't recommend going for it just because it's very, very, very hard to hit. But uh, there's some cool spots around it. And I'll show you guys a bunch of first, a couple of first ever's that I found. But a uh, really, really fun map. And I think it'll be the last map for God Mode. I'll let you guys do the finding. Just remember, for Spectate and God Mode, you can't do 2v2 gunfight maps. So that includes, like, Shoot House, Rust, uh, Shipment, all those maps. There is a game mode to do that, but you need a two-box with a split screen. Basically, the end of the edge of this uh, area over here, like, these walls and stuff, these are physical to get on. Uh, they're just outside the warning zone. That bridge is actually physical as well. This seems physical. But unfortunately, none of these cranes are actually physical to the player. They're only physical to the camera. But yeah, this entire waterway, besides these two side parts and that br the bridge is actually physical, but the side parts are not. Yeah, you can go for shots off here and under the map this as well. But uh, ba barely possible, you can just, like, just shoot under the map into the parking lot of the building. So I don't recommend grinding it out for... I don't recommend it. It's You're never going to hit it, let's be honest. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but it just, it's its impossible. So now we're at the back of the map over here. This little wall here is physical too. I don't think you can get on like any higher of it. You just get like in the lower part over here. Same with this area. You can go for shots off here and stuff. So like this little part here. Uh, this is not physical. You go right through it with the player. I'm pretty sure you can sui into here. I uh, don't know if it's even possible. But if you fly right over here, uh, these four crates 
uh, between these last two cranes. This is a really, really cool spot. So you get on here, you can just see the back of the map and hit it through the wall there. All that's wall bangable, trust me, I've, che I've checked it, tested it, everything. Um, very, very cool spot, I recommend trying it out. It's one of the spots I've always wanted to hit since this map came out. Uh, if we fly over here though, this is a very common spot. I believe it's been hit a couple times already. Um, this tower here, this antenna, is possible to get on physical, but you kind of slide around the top and I don't recommend it because you will fall off eventually. This you can get on, I'm going to try and actually get on uh, right here. Just go up on here. Sure. Mess it up. Yeah, you can see that little antenna is physical. Very, very cool. I don't know what the fuck is this bot shooting at. I'm not even in the map, bro. Alright, well I didn't get it, but you know the, you know what I mean. You can get all the way out there, in that area, and it's got fucking domed by that bot, oh my god. They can get out there, that's pretty much the only spots on the map, is the one over there, the one at the end of the cranes, and then the, the buildings over there. That's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video, it's been your boy Mystic. I hope you guys have a lot of fun going for these shots. This game is absolutely amazing. It's very, very underrated. Personally, one of my favorite Call of Duties to ever be released. Um, it had a lot of difficulty in the beginning, but otherwise it's an all-around amazing game. But uh, if you guys do have any shots with this um, tutorial, make sure you do at me on Twitter or on uh, Instagram or whatever. Send me your shots. I want to see them. Uh, I want to be. I want to be. I don't have that feeling of yeah, I helped that person hit their fucking amazing shot. But uh, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure you DM me on Twitter or Instagram or leave a comment. I'll make sure to answer it. But I hope you guys enjoy. It's been your boy Mystic. Hit some fucking bill cams, boys. Peace.